Thank you. Uh, um, good morning, um, co-panelists, um, and ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Ayobasi, as you've been told. Uh, talking e-business in Nigeria is always a very interesting topic for me. And um, being someone that has played in that space or is still playing in this space, I hope I'll be able to share some, um, some tips with us. Well, um, you know, e-business is, um, is a very, very wide space. So I will try to narrow it to um, where I currently play, which is e-commerce. But I'm um, just giving a general knowledge. We understand everything is going e now. Um, I remember back in the days when we used to queue up to buy jam forms. Remember then? The jam forms used to be rectangular. <laughs> and you flip it. Once you have that jam form, it's like, OK, I'm on a journey. <laughs> and then you sit for the jam exams. And then you begin to visit the post office. Post office. And uh, my post office box then was P.O. Box 1945. I don't forget it. So I will go to the post office. I'll be checking. What am I waiting for? The jam results. The jam slip. Right. Um, but then, today, we no more have jam forms. People write exams today. In fact, a week later or same day they get the results. So things have changed. And so also, this has also come into business. And um, if you are waiting and you've not joined this train, um, sorry. Because every day there's disruption. The space is being disrupted every day. Um, so I will just narrow into e-commerce. Um, you know, e-commerce in Nigeria is still very virgin from my own perspective. I'll tell you why. Um, you have 81 million people that come in contact with the internet every week. Of course, at least according to the Nigerian Communications Commission. Um, that 81 million people are potential customers. Now, I'll look at, those are my potential customers. I'll look at, can I serve 10% of that space? That would be like 8.1 million people. I sure can't. Um, can I serve 1% of that, that would be about 800,000 people. I sure can't. I'll tell you. If we have 15 people, the size of paper, the size of Jumia, the size of Conga, that still exist today, or will, that, will, that won't come into the space, we still can meet the demand. We can't meet the demand. Um, so I'll say this. Case study like PayPal. Of course, we're currently doing the Big Brother Nigeria. Of course, we, we're sponsoring that. Um, we have huge traffic on our side. I tell you guys, by the time we hit 20, 30,000 orders a day, it's a huge chaos in the company. We can't meet the demand. Of course, there are challenges. Why can't you? Why can't we? We know we don't have automatic address verification systems in Nigeria, which is a problem for us. So that means if an order comes in, what do we typically do? Um, we, are, we are looking for landmarks. We are using landmarks to make those deliveries. I just thought to mention this 
for someone to encourage someone that wants to really come into the space. There's still a huge untapped capacity in the e-commerce space. Okay, but I just want to share some tips with us. Um, if you want to get into the e-business space, basically, um, I know from the audience, largely young people, so what will come to your mind is um, finance. How do I get money to get started with this business? How do I get money to get started with e-commerce business or to come to the e-space? I always tell people this. If your friends and family can't trust you, very, very difficult for someone outside to be able to trust you with their money. So if you're going to come to e-commerce, to play in e-commerce, e-commerce is an easy entry, easy exit. It's really not, it's not, it's not a cheap space. So I would say to a lot of us that say, okay, how do I get into e-commerce? How can I get started with e-commerce? You have to get at least your friends and family to trust you before you be able to walk up to someone else. I'll tell you, in my own case, it was my mom. Good idea, brilliant. I pitched, I had a very beautiful pitch deck. Of course, I kept talking to everyone how successful this is gonna be, how wonderful this was gonna be, and all of that. But then, I needed resources to overcome the initia of that moment. So I'll tell you, first of all, whatever beautiful idea you have to play in the e-commerce space or in the e-business space, be sure that someone around you trusts you so much to be able to commit, no matter how little it is. No matter how little it is. The other point I will also want to share here is you have to know the space you want to play in. You have to understand it very well, very well. Um, I say something. Um, I said, when I came to Ecom, I said, if only I have 10 million Naira, I will be the biggest, I'll be, you know, beautiful big ideas, remember? You know, a lot of us have that. And um, not until I met someone that would in the e-commerce space. And um, I began to learn. Of course, I began to understudy. And I knew that, wow, I didn't know anything about this space. So who, is, who are you learning from? What are you learning? Who is teaching you? Um, I'm not, if I know we hear, I'm, I'm just about to disrupt us a little. I know we have, we hear Yaba Khan Valley, right? I'm a tech person, of course, you guys know my background, I'm a software person, I build software, that's what I do. Um, we hear Yaba Khan Valley, right? How many of us have heard of that before? Oh, we are building our own Silicon Valley. This, quote me, you want to tweet about it, tweet about it, I'm ready to defend it. That as the way we've evolved Yabakon Valley has accounted for the high failure rate of e-businesses in Nigeria from young people. You have incubation hubs, beautiful. You go into the incubation hubs, or you go to, you know we have a lot of hubs out there. Once you are able to write a single line of code, you're able to write, like we say in, uh, in, in, in software, you're able to write, hello world, right? You think that I have arrived, I have an e-business, I have a very wonderful app, I have a very wonderful uh, website I'm, up, I'm about to launch. It's beyond that. Where have you worked before? Who have you understudied? It's beyond having those hopes. And that's why the failure rate over there is very high. So I'm challenging us. While you have the capacity 
to build the technology. While you have the capacity to build that app, the very wonderful app, do you understand the basic rudiments of business? Have you worked in an environment, no matter how short it is? See, the period I worked, of course I did my youth service. After my youth service, I worked for a little bit, 19 months, it was quite short. But that 19 months formed or impacted my life seriously. So when I began building the apps and I began building the softwares, I was able to, to function. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's beyond being able to build the app. It's beyond being able to build a very beautiful website. It's beyond that. I can count very wonderful apps Nigerians have built. Beautiful ones. The next thing, the guy comes to my office. You know what? I'm about to build this app. This app makes the cat to fly over the fence. Very beautiful. But before I discuss with you, I need you um, to sign a non-disclosure between me and you. Non, you won't steal my idea. And I'm like, really? We are in the era of open source. We are in the era of open source. Whatever idea you think you have, I can bet you a hundred more people have that idea. But it is who you connect with and the experience that that person has to transfer or you can leverage on that will determine how far that app can go. I'll tell you. You remember i5? You remember i5, right? You remember Lycos? How many of you use Lycos? L-Y-C-O-S, you remember Lycos? And now look at Facebook. Same thing. The guy was ready to move together with a team that will help him to, 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 to succeed. So don't go sit down in that hub in Yabakon Valley and think that because you have a beautiful app, you are going to be able to rule the world. Be humble, learn. Be ready to be mentored. Seek great advice. When I was coming to the e-commerce space, um, I was about to launch, and um, when I started my interaction and I was looking for people around to mentor and talk to about this, um, the guy told me, do you know that um, one of these, your, we don't call them competitors, we call them other market players in PayPal. That's what we call them. Uh, because, of course, like I said, you know, we can't serve all the PayPal. If we have 50,000 orders, the chaos, the madhouse. So we rather call them other market players. We don't have competitors yet, not yet. So he said, um, these guys spend 2 million naira daily on ads. I was like, who? I said, can you prove it to me? He said, don't worry. I, have, I know the agency that manages this. I was in the hotel. I, of course, I came from Abuja. I'm an Abuja boy. Now I'm a Lagos boy, you know. <laughs> so I came. I was from, from Abuja. I came to my hotel. The guy said, okay, I'll come show you. And he showed me. And I looked at it. I was like, two million naira? What? He said, this is even, they are cutting down. They used to spend more than this every day. So for you to see every, all of them on the internet. And I was like, I have no investor. I just have this beautiful idea and I've built everything. How am I going to do two million naira? Of course. That made me to begin to ask questions. And that helped a very big deal. And I was like, okay, how am I going to be able to close this gap? These guys already have combined resources over $300 million in investors' funds, and I'm coming to this space, and I have no money, 
oh, well, let me not say having no money, but I can't compete at this, at this level. And I told myself, who are the customers? Where do my customers sit? And it was simple. Our customers sit in entertainment and sports. So, what can we do to reach to them? So another point I'll leave you with, or I'll mention, uh, I will say here is, no, this e-business you are about to start, that beautiful app you are about to build, oh, this app does this, this, it does that, this website will do this, it will do that. Know your customers before you go live. Know where they sit and sit with them there. That's what we did in regards, with regards to people. Of course, you see, we're in the entertainment space. Of course, yeah. That's why we're doing it. We are not all over the internet. We couldn't spend two million every day. But we're able to identify our customers and we joined them there. So, um, while you're about to start that business or you're already running that business, also understand that the e-business changes very fast. Disruptions happen very, very fast at, an, at a very alarming rate. So also be ready to iterate very fast. Um, it's always better when we begin to hear the questions. They will begin to share real life scenarios. But I will tell us that the E space in Nigeria is still very, very nascent. I believe strongly that in the next 20 years, there will be no banks in Nigeria or in the world. That's wrong. Brick and mortar. I, I, I believe that. I believe that. I wonder what they will do with those buildings. They will turn them to apartments, A, B, and B. Yes, that's what is already happening. How do you think you have five-star hotels, hotels everywhere in the world, and A, B, and B is, is thriving? It's a thriving business. Why? It's the disruption that happened in the East space that led to that. So I'm telling you guys, I don't believe that there'll be banks. I strongly don't believe that there'll be banks for one. And so many other things. So I challenge us this morning to be very, very innovative. I challenge us to get into the right company that will give us the right advice on that e-business you are about to run or you are currently running. The good thing about it is that you are in Nigeria. It's still virgin here compared to other, um, other space. I see a lot of things happening. Beautiful apps people are building. I saw a few of them. I hear instant apartment. Yeah, instant pickup. And they are, they are thriving. Um, the guy that does the cake is a wara cake. I see a lot of things that are happening. It's encouraging. Of course, I also see my friend here. He does thank you card, loyalty program, and all of that. So it's still virgin. It's still virgin. So I welcome us to the e-business space in Nigeria. And let's let the world also know that. Nigerians, we also have the capacity to meet the need that exists in this space. Thank you very much. And, uh, have a nice day.